स्टैंडर्ड सेकेंड साइंस चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन द सन एंड अवर शेडो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज द सन द सन इज राउंड लाइक अ बॉल यू कैन सी इट इज लाइक अ बॉल इट इज मेड अप ऑफ हॉट बर्निंग गैसेज यू कैन सी दिस लाइट सो इट इज अ हॉट बर्निंग गैसेज एंड गिवस अस हीट एंड लाइट वॉट इट गिवस अस सन गिवस अस हीट एंड लाइट इट इज बिगर देन द अर्थ सन इज bigger than the earth fine it looks small because it is very far from us our earth is uh, you are thinking that our earth is big and sun is looking small but it is wrong sun is bigger than the earth and it is looking it is very far and because of that we can it uh, we can see that it looks like a it looks like small okay here they have written it looks small because why it looks small because it is very far from us without the sun the earth would be very cold and dark if sun is not there then our earth will become cold and dark we are not able to see means light is not there only due to heat and light sun is giving and if sun is not there then we will not get the light so it is dark and if sun is not there then we will not get heat also okay and we will feel cold there would be no living thing on the earth if sun is not there then we will not we are not able to live why because without sun no living being can live for example i am giving you that if you want to uh, grow crops in our farm then we need air water and sunlight but sunlight is only not there then we cannot produce that uh, crops right and uh, without that plant we are not able to live so there would be no living being living thing on the earth without sun now he are given sunrise and sunset i am giving you one hint that for example this is not given and how you will identify that either it is sunrise or sunset so when mountains it is shown here it means it is sun rise and here river you can see so it is set fine and in the morning you can see the rays of the sun fine and in the evening you see the sun rises in the east in the morning the sun sets in the west in the evening see here i have just told you to identify the picture but if you want to see that where sun rise then you, uh, in which direction sun is rising then always sun rise in the east in the morning means you have to add, you have to think that from which side sun is rising in the morning that is east side okay and in the evening when the sun set that side is called west side okay so the sun rises in the east in the morning and the sun set in the west in the evening understand now light we need light to see things we cannot see in the dark if you want to see then we need a light and without light we cannot see for example at night if electricity is not there then we need a torch okay so we are taking torch and then after we can do our work whatever we are doing otherwise we cannot see any thing because it is a dark and at night sun is not there so we will not get the light so we need light to see we cannot see in the dark the sun is the natural source of light on the earth um, at our home electricity is there so we have to pay bill for that right but sun is the natural source of light on the earth so for that we don't have to pay any thing so it is natural human made sources of light are electric bulbs and candles means uh, sun is a natural source of light but which is human made uh, human made light so human made sources are of light and electric electric bulb and candles we have made light okay then electric bulbs also available at our home and candles okay and when electricity is not there at that time we are using torch or we will light the candle okay so it is made by human being what human being made light electric bulbs and 
candle. When electricity is there at that time, we are using light, electric bulb, torch. Or when electricity is not there at that time, we are using candles. Fine. Shadow. Shine a torch towards the wall. Put your hand below the torch and the wall. Use your dark shape of your hand form on the wall. You can see in the picture here they have given that uh, we have to light the torch, shine a torch towards the wall. You can see here wall it is there and from here we are putting shadow of the, uh, we are doing shine of a torch towards the wall. And we have to put our hand in between wall and the torch. Then what you will observe? Here our shadow you can see. So you see a shadow on your hand form on the wall. Same as your hand, it will shadow will form on the wall. So this dark shape is called shadow. You can see this dark, it is called shadow. You are able to see the shadow because you because your hand stop the light falling on it. Means from here. From wait. From here you can see that we, if you will shine a torch towards the wall and if afterwards what you are doing with in between torch and wall you are putting your hand so you can see the shadow okay why it is so because uh, the light passed from the torch towards the wall in between what you have put your hand and when you put your hand then the light will not fall on the wall and ex at the place of that hand it will become dark why because uh, light of a torch will fall on your hand not on the wall and the shadow will appear okay and because uh, here they have done you are able to see the shadow because your hand stop the light falling on it or falling on it means on the wall okay you do this experiment at your home at night you will see same shadow of your hand on your wall okay a shadow is formed when the path of light is blocked by an object as i told you that white shadow appear because when the path of light is blocked by an object now remove your hand before that what you have done you have put your hand but now you have to remove you can see the shadow no this happened because there is no light uh, sorry no object object means your hand you have kept your hand so to stop the light now switch off the top switch off the torch can you see the shadow now no you cannot see a shadow when there is no light the shadow of an object is formed on the opposite side of the source of the light here i am showing that shadow where will appear where, uh, shadow will appear on the opposite side of the light okay so from here we are giving light and shadow will appear on the opposite side of the light okay now the shadow of an object is formed on the opposite side of our side of the source of light the shape of the shadow depend on the shape of the object now shadow keeps on changing we see our shadow during the daytime due to sunlight due to sunlight only we can able to see our shadow otherwise we cannot see our shadow moves with us as we move our shadow will also move with us shadow change in length and direction how is shadow will change shadow will change in length and even direction in the morning when the sun has just risen in the morning means in the morning when sun will rise at that time our shadow will shadow is long you can see our shadow will shadow is long shadow is long in the morning you can see afterwards our shadow is the short you can see when the sun is right on the top right on the top means upside you can see it's on our head right at that time the sun is on the top of our head at noon our shadow is the shortest you can see that shadow is short shadow is short at noon right the length of our shadow goes on increasing till evening now you can see afterwards after noon time our shadow is increasing till evening in the evening when the sun is setting down our shadow is long 
as the sunset our shadow will become long in size length and direction of shadow depend upon the position of the sun in the sky length of the position how it appear as the position of the earth in the sky in the morning when sun will rise at that time our shadow will long will become long when it come on our head means on the top of our head at that time our shadow will become short and again as the uh, till evening our shadow will become long understand here our chapters end uh, and i will show you textbook exercise in the next video